guys, back to a new video. Behind me, it's kind of a premiere, the brand new Skoda Kodiak Sport line. It's right here behind me at Zurich Auto Show 2023. And in this video, I try to get you through every single detail of the car. I wait almost all day to be able to show you this car because there were so many people around here and I didn't have the time to do that. But now in a fast way, fast forward, I try to show you every single feature and detail of the car and I will give you my impression about the car. First of all, I will give you also some technical data and then we will start with a review in the interior and also in the end, I try to show you the lights and the cockpit and the multimedia system. First of all, I have to tell you that it's a big improvement from the standpoint of view of design wise. It looks much better and from my point of view, it looks a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's actually bigger i didn't see the numbers but it looks kind of bigger uh, and here we have some uh, numbers and some version the version that we have here is the diesel version that comes with two liter tdi it comes with 193 horsepower and seven speed dsg automatic transmission four wheel drive all wheel drive and as an information it comes with 20 inch rims full matrix led lights this is the new generation of led lights uh, then we have 13 inch infotainment system, uh, seven seater, it's a seven seater panoramic glass roof and all that safety features that come with the car. Let's talk a little bit about the exterior design. First of all, I told you before, it looks a little bit different. It still keep that DNA signature of a Skoda Kodiak car. But once you go pass through from the side, you will notice that it doesn't look anymore as a Kodiak, as a Skoda. It starts to look like a different new car. At least the back of the car in this area, it looks quite different. So you probably, if you don't know which car it is and you look from this angle, you will be a little bit confused because in the back, you will see that they kind of change the lights. The tail lights right now are different. They look much more interesting. Uh, and also they are full LED light. So everything when it comes to lightning, it's LED, the brake light, the reverse light, and also the fog lamps, everything it's LED. It looks a little bit bigger, probably because it's a seven seater. I'm not sure if it comes with a longer version or this is the standard size of the car but this is a seven seater and the seven seater look quite quite big and i kind of like that another thing that i like very much about the car what i notice on these 20 inch rims even if it's a diesel version they come they bring those rims aerodynamic rims that probably they can use also on electric cars you can see probably to improve the aerodynamic. And this is a smart thing. I mean, why you should use those rims, aerodynamic rims, only on electric car? Why not only also on diesel cars to improve the efficiency and consumption, right? So this is great. And you can see in the front, the same story, ventilated brake this on the front and also on the rear. Uh, this is something that I don't even need to tell you. This is the sport live version. That means it has some elements like glossy piano black and stuff like that and also around the windows but let me talk about those things in detail so on the roof it comes with a panoramic glass roof here we have piano black on these roof rails then you have the radio antenna up there the roof spoiler in the same color as the car with the brake light up there tinted windows on the side in the back and also this piano black uh, that comes across in this area on the upper side here you have also piano black also here uh, the transition between the windows it's very smooth and very nice and even on the b pillar we have piano black only on the down part here we have some matte rubber then if you go in the back you see those new tail lights in kind of a c design here and then in the middle you have the brake light and the reverse lights also skoda writing on the back of the car down here reverse camera and also LED lights on the number plate, Kodiak on the left side and 404 on the right side. On the down part, on the bumper, six sensors on the rear, some light reflector, some plastic mat in this area. Another interesting thing, fact, is the it's here, we don't have exhaust pipes. Even though it's a diesel, they try to hide it. They make some fake exhaust pipes on the side, but overall they try to kind of hide it. And this is really interesting and I like that. They try to move to sustainability, at least uh, with the design wise. Now here is the tank. So here the AdBlue and the diesel. It's right here on the passenger side. I like the fact that they still have those protection around the wheels. 
and those plastic protection are very useful. Also, when you open the door, the same story. Even down here on the down skirt, we have some protection and plastic protection on the down area. The handles are pretty much similar with the previous version. In terms of quality of the doors, they sound very similar and it comes with this protection. Look at the protection on the door to not hit other obstacles. It's the same also on the rear here. I like that. The mirror is quite big. It's huge actually, it's not big in black. Uh, here we have the turning signal. Let me turn it on from here so you can see the lights. So this is a turning signal, LED light, sport line on both sides. Up there you have the camera and some sensors for lightning and all that uh, lane assist, keep reading the traffic speed limit and all that safety features. In the front you can see the turning signals. It's transforming the daytime running light and it's kind of a crystal light. It looks really interesting. We have the Matrix LED light, the latest technology in terms of lightning in the front here. Some air intakes here that allow the car to improve the aerodynamic and it looks a little bit sportier. Six sensors also in the front. On the down part here, we have the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. Air intake with clappers that they close and open. I don't know if you can see them there. And here we have the grill, kind of the same design on the grill, not big change here, but we have this LED light, crystal lightning, I don't know, it's on a glass. It looks really interesting. I don't know if you can see it, but look nice. And this is the front camera and uh, here is the logo. So in general, this is the exterior. I, want, I try to be as fast as I can because I don't have too much time with the car. I want to open also the hood so I can show you. And then we will go inside and I will show you that big multimedia system. It's actually huge. Now open the trunk. It's automatic lift gate on the bonnet here. This is a good thing. And here's the engine, the two liter diesel engine, TDI air filter here. This is the wiper uh, fluid. And I like that. That's really simple to put the water there. It's quite smart. Then you have the 12 volt battery, some liquid cooling, and this is the filter, the diesel filter. And yeah, overall kind of the same array as Volkswagen group have it for diesel engine. So nothing new here. If we go in the back, <laughs> Look how big it is. Here we have to talk a lot about the back and the space. So automatic lift gate in the trunk. This is the opening. It's huge, man. I, I don't even need to tell you. When it comes to practicality, Skoda cars are incredible. One of the most practical cars. LED lights on the upper side. That's great in the nighttime. Also, we have the button to close the trunk. Here is the triangle usually. And the entrance, it's crazy big. It's a seven seater, of course. It has a flat floor, some plastic at the entrance, some storage space down here, huge storage space, LED light. Those are the handles to fold down the seats if you wanna do that. And you have a 12 volt port and some hooks in the corner, LED light hooks in the corner, some storage space here. And the great part is that under the floor, let me show you, you have a space to put all this protection, plus you have a spare tire and some tools to change the spare tire. This is awesome very very useful and the third row seat usually you have to pull them from here but people kind of broke them i think actually they didn't broke yeah i have to go on the side look at this anyway pull down the seats from here the other front seats and then you go on the side and here usually it has a protection for the trunk in order to not broke it usually it was inside like that but people take them out doesn't matter now I don't have time for that and then here the same story you can put a third row up and you will see how much space you have here also usually I want to do the review and I want to show you how much space you have here so ah come on man okay just like that okay this is not completely straight but this is kind of the position of the trunk here so you can make an idea it's pretty fine I mean it's more than enough for some baggage, some luggage here in the trunk with the third row seat up. And then I want to go there and show you also from the interior. If we go on the side, you have a big uh, entrance here. The entrance, it's relatively huge. I mean, it's like a proper door here. You can fit in here and put a lot, a lot of items. Uh, on the door here, you have also some privacy protection for the sun. Also here, you have some plastic on the upper side, but I like very much the handles are super awesome. The design and also the design here in the doors, the ambient light looks great. Here is some Alcantara, Alcantara here. You can see the stitches, the button to 
uh, close and open the windows. Here it's a speaker. I really love the handles. Handles are one of my favorite parts. And then you have some storage space, the garbage here, classic for Skoda, and then you have the speaker. And this is the space in the back there for a third row. Actually, I want to go inside there. I, I actually, I try to go inside there. If I manage to do that, it will be not that easy because it's, I have to put the seats. Oh man, wait a second. I have to pull it forward. Oh, it's kind of complicated. I can do that with one hand, but in general, let me do it also. Let me actually try to do it. So let me go inside now. I'm 173 centimeters and I still try to go inside here. Let me show you guys. Going inside here. This is the space. I put the seat. Yeah, still have space there in the front. Maybe not so much, but I have a lot of space here. 173 centimeters. Up here, like four fingers. Visibility is fine. Also, this is the headrest. Yeah, it's not bad. Some space here, storage space. Stuff material on the side. Wow, it's nice. And this is the space. I have also some light here, LED light. The quality on the roof from one to 10, I will give it an eight. It's okay, it's great, it's nice. And if you go, wanna go out, just do it like that and just push it, push it actually forward. And then I go out. Going out, it's not so easy, uh, but I need my both hands in order to make it easier. Anyway, the great part is that you can adjust the seats in every position you want. So you pull it and push it all the way back. And those are the seats there. This is the entrance. I, I show you before, it's, it's a great entrance. And the glass roof, panoramic glass roof, look great. And you can also open it up. And those are the seats. The seats quality are great and the space, it's really good. On the third row, it's not in, ex extraordinary, but it's fine. Here we have some leather in combination with some, uh, I should say here it's kind of a stuff material with Alcantara. It's quite nice the way it feels. Also, you have here some armrest with two cup holders in leather. And then behind the front seat, some leather here, some uh, support for the phones. I go inside here and I close the doors now. The sound insulation is fine. When you close the door, it's changing also the ambient light here. This is the space on my knees, more than enough. And you can see the seats in the front. It's kind of in a normal position. Also the driver's seat. And this is the space. I like the fact that I can stretch my legs under the front seat. And you have a nice, beautiful LED light. You can see it's green there under the front seat. So the space is fine. Also on the head, pretty good space. Five, six fingers. You have handle, you have hooks, you have LED lights here. You have everything you need. And also, if I'm not wrong, you can fold down the seats even more on the back, yes. So you can adjust it more on the back or straight. And the position, it's quite good. Visibility outside, it's perfect. Perfect visibility, nothing to complain. You have another window there and here it's extended in a perfect way. Here you have some storage space in the middle. Uh, you can add here whatever you want, like drinks and stuff like that. But you can also take this out. You can see you can take this plastic out completely. And then down there, you have also some 12 volt port, USB ports. I want to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Two USB ports and a 12 volt port. And here in the middle, you have heated seats and the vents. The vents feel quite, quite good. Good quality. Anyway, now guys, if I go in the middle, Oh, it's nice here, a little bit stiffer, but still nice. The space should be good here, even though you have a transmission tunnel in the middle. On the head, also good space. I stretch my hand completely, stretch my hand completely. You can have free person here without any problem. So the space overall, it's quite fine. Great job, Honda. Uh, great job, uh, Skoda. I'm super tired today. I work like 10 hours today. Uh, so understandable. Now guys, the dashboard design is gorgeous. The lines, the design, the, the quality, the Alcantara in this area, you will see it's super good. And the new screen that they share it with Volkswagen, some of the Volkswagen new cars like Tiguan and ID7, it's super nice. You will see how responsive it is. The same Skoda, nice Skoda steering wheel and the same, uh, kind of the same array there in the front. But yeah, let's go in the front to show you those things. All right, now let's go in the front. Here we have a big window from one piece. In this area, it's soft material. Here we have Alcantara, Alcantara here, the buttons for the windows. Then you have some ambient light, the handle, 
Podiak writing aluminum pedals. I have to be fast because they want to close the doors. Here is the electric adjustable seats. You have free position to save it. And those are the uh, seats inside the car, Alcantara with some fabric material and leather here on the side. Super nice seats, I should say, super uh, comfortable. Electronic handbrake here, some storage space in this area. And from here, you change different lightning position. Here we have also some nice design on the dash. The vents are nice, Alcantara here. And then head up display, the steering wheel, it's kind of the same steering wheel as they use on Sportline version. Here we have the stalk to change different features, the same buttons. Now the pneumatic system is here, Alcantara, some storage space, I have to be super fast. And here's some storage space, two cup holders. Here you can charge wireless your phone, Kodiak writing to USB-C, pneumatic system changing from here, buttons, it's quite nice. It looks really interesting, a lot of physical buttons here. And then you have the glow box up and glow box down big glow box and also here Alcantara here you have also Canton speakers great sound system uh, there you have another speaker and this is the screen what I like about the screen is the fact that it's crazy responsive look at look how fast it's it's crazy I play with it a little bit earlier uh, today and it's crazy responsive I have to tell you navigation system it started to be one of the best on the market it's crazy responsive here are all the the shortcut buttons the same as you have it on the Volkswagen as well and the parking button. And yeah, from here you find also Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, connectivity. And yeah, you can see right here, you go to the menu. This is the main menu. You have all the safety system that you can activate and deactivate from here. Also the car information status, but I need the key in order to show you all that stuff. And then the setup of the car, this is kind of uh, standard. But more about that, I will make a separate video about multimedia system. This is the mirror, quite nice, nice edges. Up here, the same design as uh, on previous version. And here we have the mirror and an LED light. So that was the video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I didn't have so, too much time because they have to close lock the car. So I have to move really fast. I have to make a video, a 40 minute video review in around 20 minutes, you know, so if you manage to do a review video of 30, 40 minutes in 20 minutes will be great. So let me know. So that was the video. I hope you enjoy it. So if you want to see uh, the proper review when I get the car, the proper test drive, stay close because um, I will definitely uh, make next week's. I hope I get the car for a proper review where I have more time and not on rush and uh, yeah, if you have questions, ask me down below because I saw the car and I can give you much more details about it and about the interior. In general, I think it's a great car, but it still kind of keep the same line as they use us with in the, in the last model. So nothing huge change on the car, just the multimedia that it's super responsive. The cockpit is also great, customizable. They share a lot of stuff uh, with Volkswagen Group and with uh, new Volkswagen cars like Tiguan, like ID Group and stuff like that. So in general, it should be a great car. But for test drive, stay close because I'm, I'm really excited to see and to test it as soon as I can. Uh, the problem is that here, even though if it's a show uh, room, uh, I didn't have too much time because they kind of locked the car for the whole day yesterday and today as well. So I didn't get too much time with Skoda. So probably they don't need too much advertising because they sell very good, the cars. So anyway, thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay close because we'll come a lot of new cars on the channel next days and next weeks. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.